Can NBC strike musical gold with its coming production of Annie Live? If history is any guide, it's unlikely. Carrie Underwood presented a problem like Maria in NBC's The Sound of Music Live. In 2013, marking a return of the live TV musical is a semi-regular event on broadcast TV. But pulling off an enjoyable live musical, with all the talent required in front of and behind the camera, is no easy feat, and judging from the past nine years, not one that succeeds very often. From bad acting to bloopers to injuries to not so live performances, these recent musicals more often than not have been live train wrecks rather than triumphs. In honor of Annie coming to NBC, we ranked the best and worst live musicals since Sound of Music. When they worked, they were stunning. When they failed, they were disasters. Henry Lloyd Webber's religious rock opera proved an excellent choice for an Eastern music, staged like a concert more than a typical Broadway show. It works for this show, which brings punk rock to the biblical story of Jesus Christ's last few days from the perspective of Jesus, Mary Magdalene, and Judas. With John Legend, Sarah Bareilles and Brandon Victor Dixon in the three starring roles, Superstar sounded and looked superb. What the Fox staging of the 1950s set musical understood, and so many of the failed attempts at the genre didn't get, was having fun. Nobody had a better time than a young, vibrant cast, including Julianne Huff, Aaron Tveit, Vanessa Hudgens, Kiki Palmer, and Carly Rae Jepsen. The hopping production bounced all over the Warner Brothers lot in Los Angeles, keeping up an infectious energy and staging huge, impressive dance numbers with the live audience to cheer on the actors.